Today I tell you the story of how a really cute kid became quite demanding quite quickly. Welcome back to another Catch Up with Curly. Today it's story time and I'll be sharing with you the story of when I was Rapunzel, hence the wig and the shirt. By the way, I'm sorry about the state of my wig. This is what happens when you give your wig and cosplay to non-cosplayers to wear. Moving right along to a happier tone, back in 2014, my now husband wanted to cosplay with me. Now, I wasn't gonna say no, was I? I wanted him to be inclusive in this cool new hobby of mine, and I thought, yes, let's do this. So I said to him, well, honey, what would you like to cosplay? To which he replied, I want to be Flynn Rider. But honey, you do realize that that's a lot of work for like a Flynn and a Rapunzel, and it's two weeks before the con. So you're good, you'll make it happen. And I can help with painting. And to his word he did, he painted my dress, so rather than embroidery, it's just paint. Anyway, somehow we made it work and we had a passable Flynn and Rapunzel outfit. So the con comes around, we go as Flynn and Rapunzel, we get a lot of photos, we have a good time, uh, lots of laughs, and one thing about being a Disney princess, and essentially a prince, is that kids love you. And I'm not gonna lie, the kids were pretty darn cute. A quick side note, if you're ever a Disney princess and you're in actual Disney regalia, so I'm not talking about mashups or anything like that, please, 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 for the kids' sake, stay in character at the con. Don't swear, don't, don't be mean, take pictures, take the time with the kids, because their little hearts don't know the difference between pretend and real life. All right, getting off my soapbox, let's keep on going. So there was one particular girl that really stood out during this day. She would have been about, oh, about four, I would say, and she was so cute. She was there with her mum and she saw us and her little face went like this. It was... So my husband and I are having a bit of a chat and out of the corner of my eye, I can see her. And I just went, oh, this is gonna be cute. So I turned to her, I gave her a little wave and I bent down to her level and she came over very hesitantly with her mum and her mum was like, go on, go on, say hello. She came over to me and she like touched my hair. She was like, oh, it's so long. And I went, yeah, it is. It's magical too. She went, oh. and I was like, do you want a hug? And she's like, so like, I give her a hug and everything like this and I'm like, oh, it's the mum and the mum's like, oh, and my husband's like, oh. Then this little girl turns to my husband and her characteristics turn in like a second. Suddenly this cute little girl becomes super demanding. Hands on hips, she says, are you going to marry her? Like that, straight out of the blue. I swear at this point, time froze. I'm there killing myself laughing. My now husband is there kind of a little bit taken aback and somewhat shocked. And the poor mother is horrified. You can see it on her face. It was like... So the mother immediately goes, oh, defense mode and goes, oh, no, you can't ask that. And I'm laughing. And at this point in time, so is my darling husband. I said, no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. And I tap the little girl on the shoulder and I say, yes, honey, he is. And I held up my engagement ring. Funnily enough, it's a little bit like Rapunzel's crown with a marquee diamond. That might have been a subliminal message, who knows? And then she looks at him, nods, then turns to me and goes, yay. And she scurries off to her mum and they walk away. <laughs> so to this day, my hubby and I still laugh about this encounter with this gorgeous little girl, Flynn and Rapunzel, are always going to be super special in our hearts. I mean, now I see the light was literally our bridal waltz. <laughs> and this interaction with this little girl was the icing on the cake. So I would love you to comment, what's your experience with kids at conventions or when you're in cosplay? 
And have you ever had an experience, especially as a Disney princess or prince? I'd love to know. Comment that below, please. That's my story. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more like this, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.